I have a nasty habit to order Postmates because I'm hungry. Got to eat. I'll get Jersey Mike's a lot of the times. I'll get a giant <laughs> sub, Italian, bag of chips, Miss Vicky, sea salt, Sprite. And then I'm full. I feel sick. Within an hour and a half, I get sushi. <laughs> Take it easy. That, uh, that pot equipment, the day that ticket rids himself of that pot equipment it would be like he just got a massive raise it'll be it'll be a weight off your shoulders and off your back figuratively and and, and metaphorically speaking he was blaming the his back issues he's been blaming it on the pot equipment <laughs> and i keep saying he's going you're going for workers comp it's breaking my back bob i don't know what to tell you I, I, if they it's, want to pay me for it because but, i can't work anymore but, that's fine but let's you need let's some call back spade a spade your back was broken prior to you coming on Bob Distorts because you wore. But it a, hasn't made it better. You wore Bob. a wool onesie made out of wool. <laughs> then during COVID, he slipped going down this. the hardware stairs <laughs> and broke his back. And he's trying for workers' comp and saying that Bob Distorts broke his back when that's not the case. Listen, man. It's it's not helping. I mean, no. if I'm already in, no, no I, can't be. No, 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 it's not. I mean, you took it. You had to take it home from uh, our last trip. I missed my flight, and you had to take it. How was that? Oh. I I had a, a panic at a baggage claim. Thankfully, Joey I helped was him there. out. Oh. I, I I panicked. I panicked. Thing, you He's had like, a friend I don't in need. This. I'm like Bob. There's those things. It's over there. They're lined up. You'd grab it and you just stack all your luggage on it and then you push it good thing you had a friend there because jet usually just gives me a thumb you got it you good yeah you good and then I'm i just... actually stacked it up for him too hey oh you know <laughs> what man <laughs> has got well, to no. do <laughs> something man <laughs> come on come on i hope you stack that thing up I don't think it did. <laughs> That's not true. I hope you. Stack. I offered. I offered to stack it up, sure which I, and you took me up on the offer, and you, you you were very grateful. But I stacked that shit. Well, I never think to use those. I never thought that I'd see there where you have to use those carts. I never think to use them. Yeah. When we get to baggage claim, we all. I mean, Jet's the worst with it. Dude, Jet doesn't give a fuck about you. When when you're in baggage claim, he's, he's ready out. To go. He won't no, he's there's done. no dialogue. There's no com there's no conversation to be had. And in his defense, a lot of times we had baggage claim, I don't want to talk to you guys either. We're we're all done. You know, we're all like, all right, fuck you. I'll see you. And well, you'll do that because normally Bob's at the front of the plane and we're towards the back. Oh, come and then on. when we get off the plane, Bob's nowhere to be seen. Whereas, you know, the very few times I'm at the front, I'll be like, oh, I'll wait for the guys come to come on. back. And so we can walk through the terminal at least as a Stop unified there. unit. But Stop this there. is an excellent point, And I'm glad someone brought it up other than myself because you get off that plane when we get back you from a trip get out fast and you enough. are gone. You are gone. The only time we ever see you is if you take a wrong turn. I don't know which way I went. That's the only time. Uh, well, this time he had reason, this last trip he had reason to be on his horse because we literally, we had a day and a half in Cincinnati and we were delayed coming to Charlotte the morning of the flight. No. It was a bang job from the start because before we even got to the airport, Bob set the Uber to the wrong airport, sure did. which was a sure private did. airport, which I presume he must have thought he was flying private way, that day. I don't know. The Uber driver, she had to call her kids and tell them that yes. she wasn't going to be able to so take them to So we had school. to extend. The, that was she, terrible. She called Bobby and yeah. told him that he had to walk to school. Yeah, was we were at the wrong airport, which meant she had to extend the trip by another half an hour. And she called little Bobby. She said, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to walk. You're gonna have to walk to school today. Because I ain't gonna be there to drive you. So we felt tough. bad. But anyways, that's how we started off. When we got to the airport, it was delayed on the front end. And then when we got on the tarmac, it was also delayed. And Ticket sent us a screenshot of where we had to go. The gate was on the opposite end of the Charlotte airport, meaning we only had 15 minutes to get there, and it was like an 18 or 20 minute walk. So we got out and I didn't see Bob. Bob was like, as far as I'm concerned, he was in like a 500 meter dash, like in the Olympics, he was gone. And I got out shortly after and I didn't think I was gonna make it. And I, there was t points in time where I was running like nailing people to and fro like to get there. But I'd catch a second wind and I got there with 30 seconds left before they closed the gate. There was two people there. It said gate closed and they realized I was going. So they let me in. 
And I was so relieved. But the problem was, as soon as I got on that plane, I realized Tick was behind me and sure he wasn't was. going to make it. Tick did not make sure it. Sure was. Tick and Bob make. goes, you know, if Tick was like a year and a half ago, probably would have made that <laughs> plane. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing he said, he said, oh, no, poor Tick. He didn't make it. He's like, I tell you, a year and a half ago, Tick would have made that plane. Do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, in all if, we're, if we're being serious, if we're being serious, I'm not being a dick in all honesty. No, you're being a dick. No, you're kind of, 100% a dick. If, do you think, do you think that a year ago you would have made that, that plane? Because it was a full sprint. It was a 15 it was a sprint. minute it, it was, was a, a sprint. 15 minute sprint. You missed it by 45 seconds. You had to wait for his You bags. can't sit here and tell me that you wouldn't have made Listen, that flight a year ago. I would have went from a plus 210 to a minus 110 for sure to make that flight. Yeah. But, wow. but I had to, my bag got valeted at uh, at the gate. That banged you. That oh, banged me. Yeah. So I had to wait at the gate when we got <laughs> off for 10 minutes for them to give me my bag. And then I started I started booking it. I never stopped. Yeah. Now I would have been running faster for yeah. sure a year ago. But <laughs> But this, I just, it was a you, wild, wild. And you turnaround. texted me too when, like, you made it. You were sitting in first class, and I was outside <laughs> I wasn't, trying to get a new I wasn't flight. In first trying class. to get a new flight. I wasn't in first you class. texted me like, "Oh, Tick, I feel so." B-. I, I did. Know, I know you were laughing on there. <laughs> <laughs> I know within ten minutes you were laughing your ass off. Well, you said off. he was giving live when updates. How I don't know how much <laughs> earlier <laughs> Bob got there <laughs> than we did. Live <laughs> Tick's like he's giving live updates. I'm like, how? He was like five minutes ahead of me. How's he giving? live updates i was running I, still in terminal b and i t- i get a buzz in my phone i'm running i check my phone he goes tick you gotta dig you gotta <laughs> dig you gotta <laughs> dig and i'm like what's this guy already getting a beverage <laughs> it was first it off, was stressful i was not on first class okay i was well, first flight you were Right, and he right. didn't even know it. He had an upgrade to first class, and he wasn't even aware of it. He was literally well, row yeah. one seat C- <laughs> So, so the worst is though when she gave me that upgrade, I almost didn't want it because I knew I was going to hear it from you because you were at the counter with me, and I didn't ask for it. And they upgraded, and because he goes, "Of course they did it for Bob. This kid, well, no, I got think in context, Bob, up you, his I think in, you, if you see that, I remember when we were in Scotland. Bob was. Scared scouting out the prices for the first class because i guess it was with WestJet, so you have to bid uh, on it bid. we weird. had landed in scotland and he was already looking at what the bid was for the first class nine days later to go back which by the way it's sick that they make you do that that they make you bid I, i'm that. so poor dude i went to check the <laughs> upgrades they wouldn't even let me put a bid in i couldn't even put a Take, bid I'm like, in what's, what's the current bid at he's like i'm not seeing that screen <laughs> show like, me pat- 10A. I couldn't see one Tick's through like, nine. I can't even get to that screen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Bob just did? I gotta share this because it's one of the wildest things I've oh, heard. Oh Jesus! I'm I got it. This is, no, it's not yeah, real no. because I. I you so wear, Bob, you has, take your Bob has. You know how Bob has a membership to F45, right? Yeah. So he told this me today he went this past week because on Saturday and Sundays, I'm thinking he's going to say F45 is closed. But he's like, no, I like to run on the treadmill, but they don't have the treadmills open till 9 o'clock in the morning, and I want to watch football Sunday and stuff. So he <laughs> went and got a membership at Equinox. <laughs> So for Saturday and Sundays, he could get to the gym for the elliptical at 6.30 in the morning. And he couldn't understand how that's absolutely outrageous. And this is what I'm talking about. Everything else, Bob is so no different than us. But when it comes to certain things, little trivial things, it's like, I'm like, Bob, you're getting a new membership. You're getting banged. He's like, oh, no, it's great. You know, it's I get there, 6.30, 7. It's a wild play. It, it, the, <laughs> I like to, with working out, I like to get up in the morning and I want to get it over with. I want to get in and I want to get out. Yeah. At the F45 <clears> that they <throat> have there uh, on Saturdays and Sundays doesn't open until 9, 10 o'clock and I hate <laughs> waiting. I get very anxious. I just want to get it done with. For the football Sundays, I can't afford to go at 9 o'clock and then the games are already starting. That's so I fair. needed a treadmill. <laughs> to, 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 to you end, you but, couldn't just join a local regular gym. You had to join the most exclusive, most oh, yeah. expensive gym. In, in my defense, this is the closest gym in the vicinity. <laughs> All right. If you look up closest <laughs> gym, you're going to find... <laughs> Now look, I get it. I get it. I I rag on you guys for that too, but yeah. And it's the treadmill that it's not the normal treadmill. It's the treadmill that kind of catch your feet. 
Oh, it's got like that that graded it's like surface. It's the one. It's surface. like an egg almost. Yeah. Like it, 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 oh yeah. I've never it, ran it, on one of those. The faster you run, the faster it goes. Yeah. Right. You don't press. It's the, like no, you catch. It's it like dial, you catch it. But it does. It, it's so light on your feet. It kind of caresses your feet and brings it back. I've never tried one of those. It's like the first class of treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I will say this: <laughs> that traveling with our crew is a circus, but there's nothing I enjoy more. It really is. Like you will see, like. And we all have tendencies in the airports. Like Jet, it could be two hours before we're boarding. He has to be sitting at the gate. But also, too, Jet likes to get away from you two. Yeah. And and I get it because you two are so insanely <laughs> well, loud. I am not and in the same no, stratosphere as that yo, guy. Yo, Tick, I'm telling you, uh, I think you're worse. What? There, there's times where I thought Joe couldn't be beat. <laughs> and then I there's times where I've turned to Joe. I was like, yo, I think Ticket is actually worse. You are insanely loud. And then this guy <laughs> has no regard. He has conversations with you as if there's not people. Around. You, ever get into, you ever get into it's, an elevator with Joe? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you get into an elevator with Joe. Usually, you like quiet down. There's people in the mm -hmm. elevator. He talks to you as if he's like, "Oh, Bob, look at this." I'm like, Joe, there's a guy like, look at, do you believe that, Bob? I'd love Bobby to take her out for a date one time. And I'm like, Joe, like, come on, dude. Oh, like, what are we the, doing? My, the, funnest, the funnest flights are when ticks directly across the aisle from me. <laughs> funnest for me and you. Yeah, and we have no one else. The fun I've ever had on a plane was when you... When you hit that 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 the ladies, stewardship. when no, you hit, the guy was you, the when, flight attendant. When you hit those bars that he went to hand at off his, it was the f most fun I've ever had on a plane. But my thing is, every step of the way, there's a problem where you're complaining about the customer service from the time that you you drop your bags. It's going too slow. This lady was too slow. Every step of the way. Sometimes I'm there's a, a sometimes I'm bad like that. I just I just expect I expect you know first class service. Not first class, but I expect excellence. I expect like you know the the, the, the amount. Class, but excellence. <laughs> what I'm saying is that the amount. I don't expect the first amount, class. No, but here's, you know. I expect, <laughs> I expect excellence. <laughs> My point is that with the cost of flights and inflation, and it's so outrageously expensive to fly that they get they get copped out a lot of the time. People are like, oh, you know, airline food and this and that. It's just like, it's like, you know, there should be some high expectations set. When you're spending the amount of money that people have to spend to fly these days, it's like, why do they get let off the hook all the time? Why do we turn a blind eye? You go to a restaurant, you don't turn a blind eye to your server. I can tell you that much. I just feel like the airlines have been resting on their laurels for a while. And you know, it's, yeah. But yes, to your point, sometimes I, I am a little bit I'm a little bit high, 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 high expectations, and I could be a little bit snooty, and, and, and I'm working on that. You know what's the most frustrating thing in the world, or just gives you the most anxiety of all time? You ever try and board a Southwest flight with the mm -hmm. jet? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, with the jet? It, yeah, because it's a battle. As is the Southwest flight is the most anxiety driven. They it's, taught it's me a, what to do though. It's a fight. With to, those ones, you can upgrade for like forty dollars per flight, and you get right at the front. And then it's almost like you can pick any seat you want. Well, it's not always $40. So what happened was I Jet mm. had been at the airport for two hours. Then I showed up for our flight to Cincinnati. And I got there, and he was smiling. He was in a good mood. And I was like, what's going on with you? And he's like, oh, I upgraded. <laughs> I upgraded. See? And I was Jet like, said what, that? what am I? I was, I was, it was like, uh, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm, I was like C36. Mm. There's like all the A through 50, then the B through 50, then the Cs. I was like B, oh. C32. That's and the Jet job. was A7. <laughs> and so he was like, go on, your, go on your app and upgrade. So I upgraded. And then Joe came in about 10 minutes before we board and uh, told him. And he got right on it too. And the, the boys were A789. No, it was nine. lovely because you get in the plane really early. Yeah. See, it's worth it. It, it is worth it. it. For it Southwest, sure it certainly is worth it. You know who loves a good upgrade? The Southwest is... Sure yes. Does. Loves, loves, loves a good upgrade. Do you realize that he's... Um, do you realize that Perez is an elite 
uh, with, I think it's United. He's a un- he's an elite member. Yeah, because he books all of our trips, so he gets four times the rewards. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, why that's why he's doing. That's why he's booking we the went, trips. When we went to before Scotland, we were at DC, and I was like, "Oh, there's a lot of." He's like, "Oh, I got premium United," and he went right in the other lane. He got right to the front. I'm like, "How'd you get that?" He's like, "I've been working on that, dog." It makes sense. He's getting all our you know, points. We're getting banged. Me and him took a. Um, me and him upgraded on our flight from Cincinnati. Uh, no, on our flight to Cincinnati. So from West Palm to Cincinnati, and we're like, you know, we're gonna get hammered. <laughs> and we got absolutely wrecked, and it was a blast. We had <laughs> so much fun. We sat next to each other, so we got the guy to switch with us. We had a fucking blast. How many drinks did he have? Um, I think he, I think he had three to four doubles. Whoa! Yeah, he was putting these things. <laughs> yeah. He loves the doubles. He, loves he the doubles. always yeah, gets it, still off for a double every time. It, yeah. Oh my god, we had so much fun though. Like to be doing that <laughs> on the plane, it, it was a blast. We we really did. We had a lot of fun. It was worth it. Um, a lot, a lot to get into. What did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> What, what were you saying before the show? The the Postmates order? I love that shit. What did you do Postmates yesterday? So, well, so I was talking to Bob about the, the Speed Golf episode that just came out and how at the end I was basically going through a therapy session with myself about how <laughs> I have a nasty habit to order Postmates because I'm hungry. Got to eat. I'll get Jersey Mike's a lot of the times. I'll get a giant <laughs> sub, Italian, bag of chips, Miss Vicky, sea salt. <laughs> <laughs> Sprite. Um, and then I'm full. I feel sick. I feel disgusting because I don't run and I need to lose weight and I vape and I'm fat. And uh, <laughs> within an hour and a half, I'm just, it's just starting to digest. I feel like I can breathe again. I'm not hungry, <laughs> but I'm starting to breathe. And I hop right back on post. No, it's, you uh, don't. And I get sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Take, can you do me a favor? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I've always wanted sushi this. order? Can you do me, can you do your last, can you go on your phone and just do your last 10 Postmates orders? <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I, I would love, I, that for you. I would love to know. My last 10 Bob orders got are within be. my last four days. <laughs> That's 100% true. <laughs> Bob's, yours got to be wild. It's, it's Acai bowls and shit. Last one, acai bowl. 9.30 at night. Acai bowl, KFC, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Pops Bagels, Joe and the Juice, Chip Chipotle, acai bowl, Birdie's Rotisserie. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was a Birdie's bad day. Birdie's Rotisserie. That was, that was a bad day. Yeah. Go ahead, take I want to hear I this. I still got to review this guy. <laughs> <laughs> just just two hours ago. <laughs> you got Chick-fil-A. You got Chick-fil-A. Jeez. <laughs> two hours ago. That's why you didn't want to go to Vito's. Nah, I wasn't hungry. <laughs> yeah. um, you just started to breathe again. Do you want me to I hit asked. you with what I got at each place? Yeah. Yeah, so Chick-fil-A, I got one spicy chicken biscuit, <laughs> one chick, uh, chicken egg and cheese biscuit, and then threw on one more chicken egg and cheese biscuit. <laughs> this guy loves a good biscuit, man. He really loves a good biscuit. Three? Yeah, sure did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Then yesterday I did Jersey Mike's. I told you, the same order. That same day, just a couple hours earlier, I did McDonald's. I did three bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> the day before that, I had I had, um, I had solo sushi. I had uh, what was a sushi order. I had one tiger roll, one yellowtail roll, one salmon roll, Whoa. edamame, and one rainbow roll. Whoa, chick. <laughs> <laughs> then earlier that same day I had Jersey Mike's uh, same thing um, day before that Chick-fil-A again <laughs> oh my god I got Dang. the nuggets <laughs> I got the chicken sandwich I got another chicken sandwich at Dr. DP mac and cheese oh my god. and another so, spicy chicken sandwich so earlier this year Ticket said to us he's like I have committed this year to becoming the fattest I have ever been <laughs> I am 100% committed and on board. Was, and you're doing it, dude. You're really doing it's it. It's happened, and I'm, I'm genuinely concerned. I, I do but, have breathing problems. <laughs> he, you backed it up, though, by saying 
that next year you're going to be as shredded correct. as you it. ever, ever been. I'm considering taking HGH. <laughs> I'm considering like really getting performed <laughs> testosterone Maybe replacement. Maybe do what Bob does and get two different gym memberships. <laughs> 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 You'd be well on your way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm committed to that, though. I will Are you then really? in yeah. turn Starting become January 2024. ripped. Because, by the way, then yes. you could turn the fat into muscle easier. Yeah. That's the idea, Bob. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine tickets just like Bradley Martin, like just absolutely yeah. shredded. Yeah. Yeah. That would be wonderful <laughs> those, to watch. Those three biscuits are wild. <laughs> he loves his, he loves his, the man loves wow. himself a biscuit. It's become a pretty common common theme in my house <laughs> so it was just like what is she this guy know. doing she don't She's know but doesn't she see the bags so what happens is uh, there's already trash in the trash <laughs> i'll push the trash to the side and i'll put the bag underneath the trash then cover it back with the trash was already oh, in the bag. Tick. <laughs> then she'll get home and be like what's for dinner I'm like i don't know let's check postmates <laughs> 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 oh, something's got to change. Why don't you be like, hey, I want to do something light for dinner? Yeah, me too. A salad, me too. maybe. Something clean. <laughs> <laughs> you are a wild boy, man. One of the wildest sons of bitches I've ever I met. will say, watching that, uh, I haven't finished it, but watching the speak off, those, those might be my favorite episodes. Those and the challenges, because it's so funny. And I said to Bob, we're, we're just collectively as a. As, as a YouTube group for golf, we are the fattest that could ever be. We're so big. And like us just running that one hole at Pianca Tank, it was like we just ran a marathon. We were gassed. <laughs> yeah, we were. It was a hot day, by the way. It was, it was putrid outside. It was yeah. humid. We had already done nine holes at a different course. That's true. And, um, but it was cool. We had a parade of people following that us. That was awesome. was awesome. We were driving sunset on the carts. There was like 15 of us. It was, it was a blast. It was, it was a moment. They had, um, that, that's the home of, we were in Virginia and like deep in Virginia. Deep. Like, I don't know really what that means, but you know, like deep in Virginia and this lady at the bar, she was looking for Perez. They all know Perez there. I think we might have talked about it, but I walked into the bar just to get us waters before we filmed. And she looks at me and she's like, and she just looks at me. She goes, hey. I'm like, yeah. She goes, is fat out there? Oh, that and I'm like, terrifying. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's right. He's right out there. And she comes out. She goes, hey, fat. And then she goes, Oh, and then he says the name, yeah. and he like gives her a big hug. It was in the heart of Virginia. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> that, that was the South. That was, that the, was the South. That Deep was, down, dirty that, South. That, 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 that was the, the nitty gritty. Yeah. Nitty gritty. Those speed golf challenges are a lot of fun, though. Oh, and they're they, great. People love them. We, I think, the only thing we got to do is figure out a way to make them a little bit longer. I don't know if we have. At a second you like hole, a, you maybe, know what we could or? do is like a um, behind the scenes, like leading up to it, like what we had for lunch yeah. that day, knowing that we had to go to do That's the race. Idea. That could be pretty funny content or like even post game, like how we're just exhausted. Mm -hmm. I think that could be really funny too, you know? <laughs> Oh, you okay? He's still, thinking about the He's still thinking about biscuits, this guy. Take it just moving the trash <laughs> in his own home. And having to move the trash aside to put more trash and then cover it up. It's just a bad place to be, dude. It's just a really it's just a really bad place to be. God do I love you, Tick. Oh, um <laughs> Uh, we played in our first pro am. <laughs> that was pretty. That was pretty cool. It, um, it was fun. That let's was talk actually, about the pro am for a little Cincinnati, bit. Cincinnati. We were at. Um, it was a beautiful course. I'm um, done with Callaway. We got to play with our our girl, Emma Talley, and then um, Madeline uh, Sagstrom, who was. We got to meet a bunch of people through the LPGA. Um, they were very courteous. Um, I enjoyed doing something like that. I would love to do more of those. Um, and the cool thing is, which I didn't even think about doing, is Perez the night before put like a story up about like what time we were going to tee off on. 
at what was a 2 p.m. tee off the next day. And when we got to the tee, to the first tee, there was like a legit group of people following, supporting, like cheering us on. It was a fucking vibe. It was really cool, man. It was awesome. And I think even like some of the girls were like looking around like, who the hell are these guys? Like, yeah. you know, it was really freaking it, fun. It gives you an adrenaline rush. That was our first ever, I mean, for me at least, it was the first ever time we did like a, a live thing where people are there watching you. I remember though, standing over the first tee and I was just shitting bricks. I was so nervous. You had and an awesome it, shot. Yeah, and it felt so good. And it felt like there was like a hundred people there. But at the time, and then I like looked up and looked around. There was just like a group of like five guys <laughs> just like cheering. But like no, there's more than that. No, and then it picked up. But like it, it, it really is. It's a pretty, pretty big adrenaline rush having that. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, the fans were getting involved. It was the first time we ever did that. And I want to do more for sure. I feel like Perez has already played in. A ton of before Fat Perez was Fat Perez. I feel like he was playing in these things. I wouldn't doubt it, man. He 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 knows the ins and outs of all those things. But to your point, it, it's a lot of fun. It is a little bit adrenaline. Like I think, like I had maybe between that and then the first tee when we teed off at St Andrews. Yeah, and there was a bunch of people watching when we played with Rick. Those were the two times I act, you actually feel a little jittery. That you know what I mean? That one was awesome. That one was pretty wild. When Perez and I had hit, a bad drive. I actually when Perez put into hit the a Barranca. shot in 17, was it? Right outside. His shot and landed right past the jigger in. Yeah. The jig and the jigger in was, gave him like a standing O. And yeah. he just gave the, the golf yeah. clap. That, that was, was cool. Dope. That was Bob really, hit that one. Then cool. like, we were on the other side near the rough. Bob hit one and was like looking around to see if anybody was going to give him a clap. And, and neither of us got any. Anything. I know. And I kind of got bad because technically it was on the green. It was just short of the green. It was a great shot you had. And I wanted that clap so bad, but you got to work for it. You got it. They're going to give you the clap. Like you got to throw a dart for them. Yeah, you do. It was so cool when he did that. And it was the perfect, most unison clap. Or um, what about the putt on 18 when we put it on 18 and there's a, p a bunch of people watching yeah, and like cheering us on. And like when you do add that element of like <clears throat> spectators to golf it, it definitely makes it a lot more intriguing and like just like you you start to think about other things that you wouldn't normally think when you're on the course by yourself yeah which gives me even more respect for these guys who go on to these major championships and like the final day are trying to like cling to a lead or win a tournament and you got thousands of people watching and observing yeah. your every shot it's well, that that is the thing if you know there was a decent amount of people there if we did like one of those good good meetups like <laughs> we somebody, should do that somebody's going down well yeah. no you say that now but i don't Joe, think it would we we had a par 3 we we had a par 3 at this one where there was a lady there was one guy standing past the green, like far left to the green. There was just one guy by the green, and then there was another lady in a cart, like under a tree. I hit it right by that guy, <laughs> and then Joe comes up and hits yeah. one right by that lady in the cart. There were only three <laughs> people on the yeah, hole. I know. There was, there was nobody there. It was like we were picking darts. <laughs> yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was wild. But going back to Cincinnati, that crowd was much different than the Jigger Inn. We oh, had we had the, we had the boys. Yeah, we had yeah. the fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> yeah, did. That was boys. a rowdy, rowdy, rowdy bunch. It was a good time though. Yeah. They were having fun. Bob signed shoes at one point. That was cool. He was like he was Michael Jordan shining, I signing so, Nikes. I was so worried about that because my signature is disgusting. Him and Perez <laughs> signed really good. Mine's disgusting. I didn't want to ruin the shoes. Well, you saw me sign something at the Breezy Scottsdale, and you were like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> the worst signature yeah. I've ever seen. You know what's funny? Life. The first Did you sign a poppy? I should start. <laughs> yeah, I should yeah. start. I had to sign a guy's Zen box. Yeah, it's a big thing now. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess because I vape, he wanted me to sign the Zen box, but I just <laughs> chicken scratched it and he was like, he almost like didn't even want it back. God. Well, uh, you know what's funny? Did. The first time great. you signed, like I signed something, I signed Joseph DeMar. <clears throat> and then I thought about it. I'm like, they don't even know who the hell Joseph Damar is. So I realized I started I had to sign Joey Cole cuts yeah. and I kinda had to change my signature. Yeah, up but you a have a, you have really good penmanship. You do. Yeah, that you, I'm, you, I'm you okay could, at. You could write just about anything. You write Giuseppe and it would it would come out really nice. Yeah, but you, you, you kind of think like some guys have cool signatures. You know Jordan Love? He just does a giant J and then a heart. That's, That's pretty sick. You don't like that? I don't 
like that. Okay. You don't like that? A J and a heart. It's pretty cool. Like, no offense to Jordan Love. He's he's got some work to do before he could just do a J and a heart. You know what I mean? He like, did a lot of work this week, Yeah, Bob. no, I mean, look, he, but he's still got a, a, a little bit to go. But for now, I feel like he should do the Jordan Love. You should just do a B and then draw a fairway. I got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Bob's drawing like the, the outline of the right. course. Yeah. <laughs> right There's now. bunkers on the side. <laughs> he's got, like, the, the wind currents going down Puts the one side. Put a shot tracer on it. It's yeah. going to the water. Right now, I'm doing Robert James Burger. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm working my way That's there. That's the signature there. That's pretty cool. The J Hart. Yeah. You don't like it? No, I don't. I I, I don't. I liked I, it until I saw it. Yeah. Now I hate I'd it. I like this. I love the big J, but then <clears throat> I think it should um, be an L. Look, who am I to judge? My signature is to, it, it's disgusting. Do you not it's getting do better. Bobby Fairways? Do you do Robert Burger? I do Robbie Burger. Yeah, I think you should do Bobby Fairways. Yeah, Bobby Fairways. Yeah. I think you should. If you saw it, though, you wouldn't be able to make out who it is. It's so bad. It's like I do the you big R and do? then I just freak you out. You should just do a giant B and do big and then game Bob with the same B in, in on the side. You should do big with three Gs and then an underscore. <laughs> yeah, we got to <laughs> get it. We got to get ticket uh, a new a new Instagram Are we going to address it? Yeah, yeah I mean, we, can. we have before, but tickets, not on the pod. Tickets got a horrible... We, I, Ticket, if Ticket could get the Instagram handle of Big Poppy or or no, just Par Big Three Ticket. Poppy. Oh yeah, yeah, Big Poppy, Jesus, Par Three Poppy or just Big Ticket, but all of it's taken. So he's got the most ridiculous handle. Where it's like B I G G G G <laughs> underscore capital T. It's like even when I try and tag him, it's hard to find him. To where yeah, I, I think it's the banging fans. you from getting more followers. Oh, of course it is. And, well, but you I don't are know about growing. That. I'm growing, oh, so he's growing. Settling, but I, he's not just growing in one way; he's growing in multiple ways. Oh, How else am I growing? Oh man! <laughs> that was oh, is that a hair thing? <laughs> no, oh, no, no! Oh, oh. saying get big, getting bigger in more oh. ways. Oh, oh, I would have preferred the hair. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My God, dude! <laughs> but um, I would like to be earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get the ticket handle and then my name be the Par Three Poppy. I don't want to be I the like Par Three. Par three you like poppy. the Par Three Poppy? Yeah. But I think more people know me as Ticket or my yeah, no, the Poppy now. They do, but it, but Par Three Poppy's making it's gaining some steam to where it it's it, right. tickets in jeopardy. I think it How should be Ticket. How did the Par Three Poppy start? I gotta give it jet. to Jet. Yeah, yeah. did it really? That, that's Jet. So what did he say? He just said one day you're the you're the, you're the poppy. You you go to par threes. Like well, everyone keeps taking it. Like he, he well he has this whole running bit that we steal all of his bits, all his jokes, everything we say once was his. So he keeps coming <laughs> up with new obnoxious. things. So then one day he started calling me the par three poppy. He was like, oh, you got to run up to the green. You're the par three poppy. And I was like, kind of like that. I was like, Bob, how do you like the par three poppy? He's like, yeah, I don't like that. And I was like, well, yeah, maybe it is stupid. And then anyway, Jet just kept calling me that, and then eventually it stopped. It, it started to grow on me a lot. It made I think more Perez more liked it a lot. Like while Ticket would be going down, you watch his cart going down to the, to the and it was like Bobby, Bobby. That, that's, yeah, that's when I started to love it. Um, all right, boys, let's um, let's get into our Q and A. We haven't said it um, earlier. Jet traveling, uh, Perez traveling as well we look forward to we're all in jupiter in one spot we could rip these podcasts week after week all together right now with the traveling it's kind of mayhem somebody's here somebody's there so we're making it work to try and get a uh, one podcast episode out a week so we miss them we love them they will be back don't you worry fellas let's go into a little bit of q a here first question comes from cold shank lol it's awesome um what restaurants do you have planned for when you guys hit Chicago? Some deep dish pizza. Where are you mm. thinking? Um, Chicago. You know cut. what? To be honest, we um, we it's when we go to Breezy Chicago, which is coming up next weekend. It's so quick for us to. Where I even was saying yesterday that we don't get to do as many like dinners as I would like to do. Yeah. But the one that I want to give a, a go is that uh, Lou Malnati's. Oh, have you ever been there? No. I've been there once. I really How want to try it? that. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was good. The thing with deep dish, it, first of all, it takes an hour. You got to give them an hour to really? make that what? thing. It's like when you order a souffle, you know, and you got to tell them while you're still mm. eating your entree. Really? Yeah, it's a long time. And then it's just a lot. 
it's a lot of pizza. But it's good. It's great for one slice, in my opinion. It's it, almost more like lasagna. Yeah, it's like a casserole. Almost. It kind of is. Joey I, D, you must have had uh, never deep, had never, never deep dish never in been your to life? Chicago. Never tried deep dish. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into it with an open mind. But in all honesty, and hearing you talk about it. I don't think I don't think I don't it'll like be for me. I like the New York only. slice or New York. Not to say we won't give it a try. Do you like Neapolitan? I like Neapolitan style. Not as much as a, like a New York. New slice. York slice I like too. But. Yeah, but I Nikki Smigs sent me the um, Portillos, mm-hmm. the beef oh, is that sandwiches. The sandwiches, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Didn't run I'll tell world, you what but. I'm looking forward to is a dinner at Smigs' house when we're there on the Saturday that's night. That's going to be very very nice. I think that that's probably going to be. Probably the best meal we have there, knowing that they'll, he's they'll gonna do, probably it right. do it really nice. True Italians, yeah, and I, I feel like we'll be in very good territory, I very good so. company. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's got big shoes to fill. Your mom, and, yeah, I was gonna say demars. that. Yeah, what did you guys think about the meal that you guys had at my at my? I parents thought it place? was terrific. I, it. I liked I it a lot. Dude. I loved it. You, your mom. My mom kind of threw everything at I you. I knew yes. she would. Yeah, I knew she. she would. The first thing she asked when we when we, is what is Perez eat? Good luck. But I mean, I think he left there full and yeah. content. Oh, and he got a new snack now. He loves your mom. Got him on salami. I cannot believe that young, that that young man had never had a piece of salami. In well, his I life. said to him that that, and now he eats a lot of salami. And I told him, I said, "Don't you think there's more things out there now that that you haven't tried that you would like?" And he's like, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> I was like, ah, ah. "What a wild boy!" <laughs> yeah, he said, "Yeah." All that right. being said, if you guys have recommendations for Chicago spots that we should go, uh, Beardon was telling us if we have time that that Chicago Cut Steakhouse is upper echelon. We're not, we're not so, making it there. Okay, well maybe not there, but if you have recommendations, places we should hit, you know, feel free to hit us up. Or maybe right. we can. Or maybe we, we can. can. Um, all right. Next question comes from G underscore Wilson underscore thirteen. Um, when will you guys be coming back to Oxford? That's Garrett Wilson of the New York Jets. Uh, we appreciate the question. Um, that I want you guys to, because you guys always hear me and Jet talk about Oxford. Yeah, and like Jet guys, loved it. It was the most fun I think we've ever had. It was it was it was unbelievable. Um, it, it's people always say for all these different colleges, oh, this is the best college football tailgate experience and all that. I actually think, uh, out of what I've seen, nothing has compared to Oxford. Um, you know, I don't know how the golf is down there. I'm sure there's golf down there, but. Just to do one Bob Does Sports old school style episode, I would love to just do one where it's with all of us headed to Oxford, come to the SIP. Anytime we would go down. I love That's that. Ole Miss, right? Yeah, yeah. And we liked it so much to where if you ask me and Jet now, we we will root. I'm a Hurricane fan, but I will root for Ole Miss all the time. Wow. Yeah, it was that. We enjoyed it that much. It was wild. It was a blast. <laughs> Next question comes from Drop the Guac. <laughs> Uh, what's the best um, and what's the most difficult thing about traveling so much? You want to go, Joe? Uh, the best thing about traveling as much as we do is we get to experience some amazing memories and times together. Because I think like we might appear on YouTube as, but we genuinely are like best friends. Like our group gets along and has fun. Aside from when Jet's in his mood and wants to kill me and, and ticket sometimes, but and Bob as well, well, pretty much all of us. But aside from that, we really have a lot of fun. And like, I would not want to do this legitimately with anyone else. It's so fun. The trips are enjoyable. I will say that sometimes it gets taxing when it's like a quick trip for like a day or a day and a half and you got to travel and you got to take clubs and you got to go here and there. And, um, and then the time difference and everything like that, it can be a bit much, but I mean, honestly, I don't think we can really complain. I, I was saying to Bob, and I've said to Ticket separately, and Jed as well, and Perez, that I think we have the best job ever. And like, we just, we really, we're very blessed to do what we do, and we're very, very fortunate to be able to to do this and call it work. So even though traveling sometimes can be exhausting and can be tiresome, um, especially if you're doing a red eye to Scotland, that was not fun. Um, that being said, I wouldn't want to do it any other way and with anyone else i think it's 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 the best gig we could ever ask for yeah even like when we're tired in the airport like when sometimes we all get the giggles and we get we get a little giggly Hilarious. in the airport and stuff and it, even that gets funny yeah, but you wanted right. me to come sit next to you on 3c the other day and you're like oh there's an open seat 3c come on, i got the giggles and i almost got up <laughs> and, that was and, he, and then he messages me he's like oh good thing i didn't go and he says good thing you didn't come because a woman just sat back from the bathroom 
room. <laughs> And I'm like, man, I would have been banged. <laughs> I would have been but the, there's always no. something that happens. There's always a funny something that goes down. <laughs> By the way, if, could you imagine going to the bathroom, come back, and Joey D <laughs> sitting there. You know, she would have thrown a fit. Yeah, she would have. She would have thrown an absolute fit. And Joe fit. would find a way to turn uh -huh. it on her. It'd be her fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't kind of yell at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he would do, he would do something <laughs> like that. Like, whoa, man, man. Like, you don't got to yell. <laughs> yeah, that would have been hysterical. But you're right. You we uh, definitely can't complain. I just, I guess the bad part is sometimes I just hate living out of a suitcase. Like that's something that just kind of gets me that I'm that Do I'm you not. Know that I slept two nights in almost eight weeks at my apartment in L.A. Two nights in. Well, eight some weeks. of that's on you. Well, yeah, of course, a lot of it's on me, but it, it is a, a lot of it too. Is we we travel a lot. Yeah. Yeah. My so. thing too, like I moved into a new apartment and I barely get to use it. Like as soon as I walk in here and I'm like, shit, I'm never, I don't get to use it's it. It's spotless. At all. The guy today asked Bobby, he's like, oh, so where are you two next? He's like, well, we're going here and then I'm going there and then I'm going to Mexico, coming back, going to New York, then going to New York again later that month. It's a lot. Showtime's girlfriend came over football Sunday and did you hear she wanted to heat up the buffalo chicken dip? And she said to me, she's like, Robbie, have you ever used this oven before? And I looked at her and I was like, not once. <laughs> and it hit me. I was like, not one time have I used oh that oven door. I almost just want to pop something in there just to say that I've used it's it. It's not a frozen pizza. I know. It's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> and then the best part, yeah, I mean, the, the memories that come from it, um, it's just, it's we all have a lot of fun together. We get to see a lot of different places, experience a lot of different places. I mean, to be honest, I never thought that I would be in Scotland years ago. Um, and there we were. And we're doing it all together, experiencing it all together. So that's been a blast. You ever used a stove? I've used a stove, but 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 a very few <laughs> amount of times. A very very few amount of times. It's bad. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's bad. a great rotisserie place around the corner. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> we'll take you. Got to answer. That. Um, yeah. I mean everything you guys just said, but I, you know what I love? My favorite thing is when we finished up two two videos, eighteen holes of golf. We're packing up the the camera equipment. You guys are getting the golf clubs in the car. We all sit in the car. Feels like we just accomplished a lot. We yeah. got two videos done, and then we try to figure out where we're gonna eat. Yeah, that's fun. And now I know it's funny because I'm talking about what a fat ass I am, but it is very. It's very nice when we've just accomplished everything. Yeah. This is your it's thing. Rewarding. It's true. But it is. It's my. It's one of my favorite things about the trips too. And then we we share a meal. And the only thing that sucks is when we really miss. On a meal, <clears throat> we missed a few times. That's in yeah, it's a waste. It, it is. It, I get upset about that, but at the same time, too, another bad thing is it is so hard to eat healthy and say somewhat mm -hmm. and not feel yeah, like dog not. shit by the time of the trip. Because the way we go, mm -hmm. it's like golf course Taco Bell, Slurpees, <laughs> home Dairy Queen, go to sleep. Like there's no. It's so hard to say no. I can't say no. Yeah, you're a skinny person who's in shape, but at heart you're fat. For yeah, sure, fat at boy. heart I'm obese. It's fat you 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 yeah. had a stint with being fat, and that's done. But you'll always hold that fatness in your heart. Yeah, I just when I was fat, I wish somebody said to me like, "You're fat." And I asked my parents that all the time. Like, how come you guys didn't tell me I'm fat? You didn't know. <sighs> I guess I was kind of naive. I, know, I, I'm I just fat. I just wish somebody was like, <laughs> "Man, too. like like you gotta <laughs> lose weight." Like, There's varying yeah, levels of fatness too. I think like you can be fat, but you but could not have said it to me at the hotel beast. when I was at the hotel. I was fat. Oh. I wish think you were fat well Chubby. there was a period where there was a little, you were maybe a little bit but most of the time you were re you were just regular now you're skinny now you're lean and in shape but at the hotel you were just you were just like a regular guy you weren't fat or skinny do me a favor you if i normal. get fat you tell me i get fat yeah of course all right yeah, yeah i'll let you know one more to you straight <laughs> um okay last question comes from uh minnesota boy 99 <laughs> guy loves joe mauer what sure do you want to do <laughs> uh <laughs> what was your dream job as a kid what did you want to do when you were a kid? I wanted, uh, I wanted to photograph animals. <laughs> you said that a couple times, and it's wild. I want. I, I legitimately wanted to like that go to the awesome. to the plains of Africa and like film like lions and really? like get jaguars and trees and like see elephants going across the Serengeti. Really? Just like be planted up there and like in the plains and get these close ups of like the animals. That's 
that's uh, my favorite animal is a cheetah. I always dreamt of watching a cheetah like run to get one of those gazelles. I know, but Joe, you, know, you like in those safari stuff, you got to be quiet. For you, you'd be like, Bob, look at that cheetah. Up no, there. I think <laughs> I would be. I think I'd be locked in. Actually, if I went on this, I've always dreamt of going on a safari. I think if I went, I would be dying. I think I'd be locked. I, in. I'd have binoculars. I'd have the camo. I'd be like ready to go. I really, I, 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 I legitimately love animals. And as I got older, then I didn't want to film animals anymore. I thought it would be a dream to like do like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, like <laughs> photographer. I thought that would be the easiest job in the world. <laughs> and now I just have no desire to be a photographer. You wanted to film women as you got older. You wanted- yeah, I just thought it was such an easy job. You just stay on the beach there. You have beautiful women everywhere. You just take pictures of them. Like, I thought that was a great job. Well, that was as I got to like my teens yeah, and like sure. you know my you grew up. young adulthood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the love the, for the, lions. The turned safari into thing the lions. is awesome. I, I, that's that's awesome. why he knows so much about. Have you ever seen? Like sometimes he'll just spit out random facts about sea creatures. No, yeah. he, he has I know most, a lot from a bio, Joe, biology standpoint. I, know I a lot would. About I would love to go on a safari with you. And during <laughs> that safari, I would watch you seventy percent of the time, and the animals thirty percent. I would be riveted, man. I know. I'd. I'd, I'd be. That would be fascinating. There's so um, many amazing animals out there. I just, I, I'm, I, I just, I, I'll watch sometimes. Like, you ever watch Planet Earth? Like the, like on Netflix. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got it in 5K, man. I've watched all of them. <laughs> it's so baby. awesome, man. Excellent. It's awesome, man. What's the guy who does the Attenborough? The, oh yeah, he's yeah. got something special going on. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Um, what I th- was yours? Probably shortstop for the New York Yankees. Was it really? Probably wanted to be Anthony Volpe. Mm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And well, I also wanted to be in the NHL too, but sometimes you have to have realistic dreams. Yeah. What no. the fuck? I wasn't. It gonna was just a dream NHL. as a kid. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But it, yeah. Like, I, th- I think it was like job, not like what's well, oh. job. Oh, so you were like, you really actually thought you were going to make the Yankees? Well, I don't know if I was going to pursue it, but I would have loved it. Like, I would have really, really enjoyed it. I don't think that there was a time where I was like, all right, I, I got a shot. But that, to me, is like the holy grail of all jobs. Or a bullpen pitcher in the MLB would mm-hmm. probably be even better. Because you just get to kick back, eat seeds, mm-hmm. come in for an inning. If you have a great inning, like, you feel great. You're on top of the world. It's just, that's a fun... AJ Minter. That's our guy. Yeah, that's our boy. Also, that movie with Charlie Sheen as a as a kid was the shit. Major League. Major League. Yeah, that I never watched. Really that. fucking. Really, cool. that's surprising. Oh, is it good? It's sensational. Take and they made a second one. You don't got to see that what one. What did the part three probably want to be? You kind of stole. I wanted to be shortstop for the Phillies. I wanted to be Jimmy Rollins. Yeah. Wow. But see, I never had a shot at Poppy. that. But I, it was a dream. Right. But was, was like, did you ever have like a aside from a dream? I guess what I'm seeing like a job or a profession that you actually like thought this i would be great at this this would be very this would make me very happy i wanted to be uh an artist i guess really uh, yeah but then are you I, good at drawing no or how about um <laughs> are you good at painting no well, are you creative like i'm creative yeah okay with writing i then i became i wanted to be a writer but that was much later you were a writer i was a writer and you know ticket wrote for I the big well. bang theory i did no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> i worked on the, the big bang theory <laughs> he was I, a writer not, for I was the a show writing, i was a writer's assistant for the show well you're wrong for the show give yourself some credit i was getting credit. coffee but yeah yeah, yeah. i can't say i wrote you're, for that give show. yourself some credit take you were you were part of the big bang theory i was working success. the system i was working, i was entering contests as a writer I, I think when i worked with you i like came in like top five in a huge writing contest um if you then could, I had a lot of problems, and I, I threw it all away. <laughs> Did you go back for to have the same roster that we had at the hotel, and like actually like work a shift? And somebody said you can go back in time. All the same people would be at the hotel. It'd be us in that time, knowing what we know now. How many days would you go back to the hotel if you would? We mean like transport, my, like time yeah, travel. Yeah, like like just for to go me, live it again? I would go back to the hotel for a month. I would never go back. Come on, never once. Sick. Even with all I of us going back, you know. But I'm way. saying, I'm saying, like, I think he's saying, like, knowing our crew who all worked there, you wouldn't go back okay. to be part of that that yeah. system that we had. I mean, for I guess like if I could week. do it differently and spend yeah, more time that's with what you I'm guys, that's what I I'm didn't saying. spend a whole lot of time. I spent a lot of time with you. He's saying I didn't spend too much time with you. No, but I think his question is based now that we all know each other. Oh. You could do it again. Sure. And have that still and that yeah. you're secured for the future. Sure. You're, you're fine. How long, oh, how long would you yeah, do it? You know what knowing I mean? that. Like you're in that you're in that. Yeah, I'd like to go back where our bank accounts looked a lot more similar. Even the even the playing field. No, I would go I would go back for a couple weeks. I think I'd have enough of it after a couple weeks, but I'd go back. No, I was tickets boss for for the first summer at the Beverly Hills. Yeah, he was. Yeah. 
Yeah. Remember we would um I we was would probably a terrible boss. We would drink beers after a third stop on Muhammad Ole- Soleil's tip money that he would give you. <laughs> and he's in jail now. Is he really? Yeah, he's in no. jail. Yeah. I used to yeah. say I used to go to Bob. <laughs> I used to go to Boston. I was like, I feel like going out for a real nice dinner. He's like, no dinner for me. I got nada. I'm like, not now you don't. But after tonight's shift with Muhammad, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a couple Benjamins. <laughs> He's like, Joe, I don't need your, I don't need the money. I'm like, not if you don't want to go to grill on the alley. You don't. He's like, I'll take the Benjamins. I'll take them both. I'll take them both. Chris ones too, please. We used to sneak and out. we went on a spree of probably like three months where we ate like kings and we had no business being there, but I used a bunch of the connections that I had. Remember when we went to, what was the place that we well, went to? He had a good connection at Grill in the Alley, so I would <laughs> I would leave my sh- my shift and I would leave the guys like to go do it. I would leave and I'm like, all right guys, I'm done for the night. I would come back and then we would have so much food that I would give it to all the valet guys that they would come into my office and they would, <laughs> they would be eating like porterhouses <laughs> and all this crazy cream spinach. What was the Italian restaurant? Oh, Medeo's. Medeo was great. We went in there, we got the whole thing comped and we were on zippies and we couldn't even There was a time where I was texting you and it seemed like every single night you were going out to dinner. We were living living way nicer than now. We were on, the zippies are are gummies, by the way. I just want to confirm that. Edibles, yeah. Yeah, the edibles. We were on the edibles one time with Dale and Cutsy knew a guy, but we knew the bill was going to be crazy high. So we're there and, and we're eating and yeah, the owner comes over and touches the table and asks how we're doing. And, you know, because, oh, we're doing great or whatever, whatnot. So, like, we're laughing. Cutsy's like, if he comes by the table one more time, it's a comp. I'm like, no, Joe. He goes, Bob, if he comes by the table one more time, I it's a comp. That, yeah. So then the gummy really starts kicking it, and so we're laughing, and then he comes back, mm. and we're freaking out, and, like, we're trying not to laugh and whatnot. He <laughs> comes by the table, and he, and he taps it, and then he goes back, and he comes back, he goes, gentlemen, there will not be a check tonight. And I just burst out laughing. Start Joe laughing. Because <laughs> it was so funny knowing that Joe was right. Um, the third stop was special, though. Third I, I partook in that a little bit. Third stop you was special. You posted a picture on your great. story the other day. Of, I think it was all of us that posted at the bar. And oh, that have, was long after yeah, we... Yeah, you could have told me I was <clears> fat then. That was a, that was long after we were done doing that, though. It was when I first yeah, came back yeah, to you're L.A. Right, you're right. That was... We, you got into it with... with uh, what's his name? The, the guy... Oh, a not, long time about, ago. Because he's not a Bruce Springsteen fan. That's and right. Ticket wanted to rip Ticket his head off. Pissed. That guy was a piece of shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> he was an absolute... No, he, I loved him. He was all right, dude. Well, he was the guy who was... No, he was nice. To, or what was the other guy's name? Yeah, the no, guy with the, the dark hair. He was a Yankee fan. That guy was, what was a piece his name? of... Or no, what was his name? It was my guy. Oh, I loved he, him. he was sporadic at best. And then I have a video of Ticket at Third Stop with bleach blonde oh, hair. Oh, he went through his, his stand phase. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, he went through an Eminem <laughs> stand phase. He's at the bar doing a Stephen, Stephen A. Smith, Smith impression of stay off. The, you have to stay off the, the weed. weed. And he's screaming. Mario Chalmers. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was Josh Gordon. It was Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. He's a great player. He's a great Cannot player. stay off the, the weed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're closing done. it down. That's another edition of the Boston Sports Podcast. Part three, Poppy Big Ticket, Joey D, and myself. We'll see you next time.